Good day, ladies and gents. Uh, today we're going to be doing starting unit two, which is on parallel and transversal. So you want to have out your hot topics and you want to have unit two, parallel and transversals, part one. There's going to be two parts in this. So uh, we broke it in half. So we wouldn't have to, it's such a big packet. Let's get started. Naming angles. So we're going to be taking notes on this. Uh, and I'm going to be writing in darker pen because some people have said that the red pen is just, they can't see it. So let's give this a try. Okay, so right here, an angle is formed by two blank with a common endpoint. So that's two rays. It is created by two rays. So right here, um, here's the endpoint, and we shoot off th towards A, and we shoot off towards C. This common endpoint is called the vertex. So you definitely need to know these vocabulary words so you can answer the questions. The rays are called sides. Name an angle using three letters. The middle letter must always represent the vertex. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right, so um, with a single letter, uh, you, sorry, use a single letter. <laughs> is uh, use a single letter is there is only geez what a typo um, is only one angle located if that's what that's what's missing um, use a single letter if that's the typo if there is only one angle located at the vertex so what they're talking about is if you had this let me zoom out right here and I'm talking about this angle right here. I can't call this, I can, uh, so this one, we can call it a, uh, angle A, B, C, A, B, C. We can call it uh, angle uh, C, B, A, or we could call it angle B. So all three of those are okay, but over here, we uh, once again, we can call this ABC, where B is in the middle. We can call it angle uh, CBA, but we cannot call this angle B. We cannot, because when I say angle B, you don't know if I'm talking about this top angle, the right angle, the left angle, uh, or the bottom angle. You don't know. So we cannot call it angle B on this particular thing right there. So that's what they're talking about. So use a single letter if there is only one angle located at the vertex. This one had four possible angles, or actually a multi, uh, more than that, because I could be talking about this whole um, straight line right here, this straight angle. So that's another possibility. So only if there's one angle can you use a single letter. When referring to the measure of an angle, use a uh, lowercase m, as in measurement. That's what it means, measurement. So right here, when I'm saying um, angle ABC is 60 degrees, I have to put a little m in the front, meaning that it's the measurement. So it's the number. So it's the degree. All right, all right, this right here. So uh, now let's talk about types of angles. So if X is right here, that is called an acute angle. That's acute where uh, between, so X is between zero and 90 degrees. You don't touch zero, you don't touch 90. This angle right here, this is called obtuse. That is between 90 and 180, and you don't touch 90, you don't touch 180. This angle right here, that is a right angle. So that little box right there means 90 degrees, so X is equal to 90. And this angle right here is called a straight angle. So X could be zero, or X can be 180 degrees. So it could look like this, So, um, so or it could look where they're both pointing in the same direction. So think along the lines of a clock. So we're used to seeing at 6 o'clock where they're pointing in opposite directions. I'll zoom in there. Or it could be at 12 o'clock where they're both pointing in the same direction. 
So think about, uh, think along those lines. So both of those are straight angles. And then, okay. All right, example one. So I'm going to do an example, and you're going to try an example. All right, so here we go. Example one. So we have this picture right here. Name the vertex of the angle. So name the vertex of the angle. So where's the corner? So vertex would be in the, so you can say corner. So where's the vertex of this angle? That would be angle K. So that's a, that, that's like a, uh, that's the angle symbol and K. And if you just put K, you're still correct. Okay. Name the sides of the angle. So that'd be K to J and K to L. Those are the sides. So start of the vertex, shoot out. Start of the vertex, shoot out. Uh, Ms. Holland, what if I put LK? You are still correct, but it's just better to start with. Uh, so, But th these would be the better answers. Name three ways to name this angle. So the first way is I can actually just say the center letter. So the, um, uh, the vertex, because there's no other angles there. Um, another way is JKL, so angle. J, K, L, or in reverse, angle L, K, J. And then classify this angle. Okay, so is this a Q, obtuse, right, or straight? And if you're not sure, you can use the corner of your paper. Um, so this, the corner of your paper is 90 degrees. So is this angle equal to? Let, so is it less than, equal to, or greater than 90 degrees? This angle is greater than 90 degrees. So because it's greater than 90 degrees, it would be obtuse. Okay, so now we're going to pause the... Uh, we are going to uh, pause, and I want you guys to try number two. So we're going to pause, and you guys are trying number two. Okay, so now you guys are going to try. Uh, so you guys did just did number two. Okay, so now let's give this a try. So let's see if you guys got the right answers. What's the name of this vertex? That is angle S. Name the sides of the angle. That would be S to R and S to T. All right, and then uh, name three ways to name this angle. We can call this angle S. We can say RST, and we can say TSR, and classify the angle. What kind of what kind of triangle uh, angle is that? And that right there is 90 degrees. So that right there is 90 degrees. So that's a right angle. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the back. Let's move on to the back. So we're on page two. I know it doesn't say it. So all the even numbers are like on the staple right there. So um, just putting that out there. All right. So we're on the back now. So we're still taking notes. All right. So on the back here. So still working vocabulary words. So if, so congruent angles, if blank, then the angles are congruent. Uh, this is written as blank. So if equal. So if equal, then the angles are congruent. This is written as, uh, so like this right here, that is angle A is congruent. So equal with a squiggly sign above it, angle B. All right. Now, angle bisector. So you got to break down the words. So um, bisector. So bisector means cut into... So it says by, so two equal parts. So that's what bisector means. So it, and what was cut into two equal parts? The angle. The angle was cut into two equal parts. So, so here's the picture of it. Now it should be a little more like a heart. So you can tell that there's two angles there like that. Okay, so a blank that divides an angle. So a line, a line that divides an angle into two, uh, so two congruent 
angles. So put it this way, if I cut something in half, so if I cut this pen in half, I got two parts of a pen, um, not, or a better idea, uh, not two pieces of paper, right? So you cannot cut an angle in half and get two different lines, what you're doing. So think about it this way. If you cut an apple in half, do you have an orange and orange? No, you have two halves of an apple. So, uh, think, so when you cut an angle in half, you get two little angles. Okay, in the diagram to the right, blank is the angle bisector. So what's the angle bisector? What is the samurai sword? What did the cutting? So what did the action? And that was this. This is the angle bisector right there. So that's the angle bisector. So BD. BD is the angle bisector. Therefore, what got, so uh, we have two angles that are equal, right? So the angles are ABD. So angle ABD. Jeez. So A, B, D is equal to angle C, B, D. There you go. All right, so this top angle is equal to this bottom angle. Simple as that. All right. So that should be pretty simple. It's not as hard as you think it is. Just accept that. <laughs> All right. Perpendicular lines. Okay, so what's perpendicular? Not the angles, the lines. The lines are perpendicular, meaning lines that intersect at 90 degrees. So the lines are perpendicular. The angles are right. So angle are right. So the lines are perpendicular, the angles are right, meaning that they're 90 degrees. Okay, two lines that intersect at a um, right angle The symbol for perpendicular is this symbol. So it's an upside down capital T. In the diagram to the right, line M is perpendicular to line L. Line M is perpendicular to line L. Pretty simple, yeah? All right. Perpendicular bisector. Okay, so perpendicular means 90 degrees. Bisector, um, cut into two equal parts. Now what's perpendicular? Perpendicular lines, right? So the lines are the things that got, got cut, right? Okay, so, so here is the perpendicular bisector and that can be as long as it wants. And then what got cut in half was this line segment right here. So this is the perpendicular line, and it cut this line segment in half. This is the one that got cut. All right, so a line segment or array, okay? So this in this case, it's a line because it goes on forever and ever. A segment would be from here to here, and then an array could just be shooting off in, uh, in one direction. Um, a line a segment or array perpendicular, to a segment because you uh, if you're going to cut something in half, you need to know how long it is. So if you're cutting something in half, it needs to be set um, at its midpoint. So it cut it at its midpoint. In the diagram to the right, blank is the perpendicular bisector. So what was the samurai sword? That was line uh, LM. So LM and it's a line is the perpendicular bisector to, and what got cut in half? Line segment PQ. And notice that there's no arrows on that one. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do an example, then you're gonna do an example. Okay, so let's do number three. Zoom in a little bit. So we're on example three. Okay, so we have this lovely picture right here. Write another name for CBF. Now, I don't even have to look at this. If they just want another name, you could just say the reverse of that. Angle FBC. That's the easiest one you could do. Now, 
angle CBF or FBC, and I can't call it angle B. Angle B is not okay because at B there is this top angle, the right, the other right, the le uh, the bottom, the left. There's all these possibilities, so you cannot say angle B. Name the sides of EBD. Now B is in the middle, so um, E B D. So if you uh, to focus on that, the the angle looks like this. E B D. E B D. Like that, right? E B D. E B D. And so if this is the center angle, I can I don't even have to look at the picture. I could have just looked at the look at the the letters. It's the center to the edge, the center to the edge. So it's B E or this side and B D or this side. Both of those are correct. So those are the two sides. Okay, so classify A B C. Okay, so we have to look at A B C. A B C. All right, so um, I'm just going to redraw it so I can have a better idea what's going on. A, then B, then C. Okay, so looking at that, what kind of angle is that? That is a straight line, so it's a straight angle. Okay, give an example of an obtuse angle. So anything that's greater than the corner of your paper um, and not straight, you're good. So... I think the best thing I could do is EBD, angle EBD. So that's just one of them. Let's see if I can make another one. Um, so this angle right here, ABF is another one. Um, and, there's a, and there's a big old list. There's a big old list I could have possibly done, but those are two of them. So... Um, all right, let's make another. Name two congruent angles. So angles that are actually equal to each other. So these two are marked equal right there. So those are the two easiest ones to pick. So E, B, A. Angle E, B, A is equal to, and this angle down here is F, B, C. Right there. So those two angles. I could have also done A, B, D, and um, CBD because both of those are 90 degrees. If both of them are 90 degrees, then both of them are equal. So that's another example you could have done. And then finally, name a perpendicular bisector. So, so what cut um, a, a segment in half, right? So, so the, these, so here's a 90 degree angle right here, and what got cut in half? So I'm going to turn my paper. And then um, my left is equal to my right, and this is the samurai sword. So what's the perpendicular bisector? BD. Ray BD. Started at B, it shot through D. Or you can just say BD. All right, so that right there, so Ray BD or BD is the uh, perpendicular bisector. So awesome sauce. All right, now it's your turn to try number four. So you guys are trying number four, so give that a try. All right, so you guys should have done number four. Let's give the, uh, let's actually go over the answers. All right, so you guys did number four, so let's uh, go over the answers. So angle, so what is the vertex of angle one? That vertex, where's the corner, right? So that's where we're looking for, the corner, and we got uh, T, so angle T. Name the sides of angle four. So here's angle four right there, and that's W, T, Z. So I'm just going to draw it so you can see where I'm focused on. All right, so there's W, T, Z, right? Okay, so what are the sides? It's uh, So the vertex and shoot off into the other direction. So T to W and T to Z. So there you go. Name, uh, write another name for angle three. So here's angle three. So um, that was part B. Let's do part C. Angle three, that's this right here. I'm just drawing this off to the side here. All right, so we have, so you can see what I'm focused on here. 
Okay, I'm just going to redraw that and just zoom in. All right, so we have, so what's another name for that? We could say ZTU or reverse version UTZ. You cannot say angle T. Now, why can I not say angle T? I cannot say angle T because there's too many choices right there. Do, 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 do. Okay, classify YTW. So YTW. So this right here, so that's this angle. And what kind of angle is that? That's a right angle. That's a right angle because there's a 90 degree angle right there. Name two perpendicular lines. Okay, so here's the right angle. So the two lines are Y to Z or Z to Y and W to X or X to W. Or you could do short, shortened versions, um, TY and TW. That would also be, uh, be correct. There's a couple of different ways. As long as you're talking about th these two lines, you're good. And finally, name an angle bisector. So something that cut the angle in half. So, um, so these two angles, this angle right here and this angle right here are equal to each other. So this is the line that did the, uh, the cutting. So that'd be T U and there you go. Sweet. All right, let's keep going. All right. So, um, all right. So, uh, page three. Page three is just a nice little recap of a couple of things. Angle addition. Okay, yes. All right, so determine the measures uh, below by following this. Okay, so the this idea fed into the next one. So the basic gist was the left. So um, so this plus this equals the whole shebang. We've talked about that before. Um, sorry, those were supposed to be down there, but you get the idea. Boop. Boop. Okay, so in this case, this plus this plus this equals whole shebang. So um, X. Um, so basically, what's happening is um, N to M plus M to L plus L to K is equal to the whole shebang um, N to K. That's what's happening. So all those added together is going to equal the whole shebang. So in our case, uh, x minus 6 plus 9 plus 2x minus 19 is equal to the whole shebang 23. And be careful with your minus signs and ones right next to each other because they you might accidentally think that those, that's a plus sign. So be careful. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3. So 3x and then negative 6, a positive 9, and a negative 19. When you add those together, you get negative 16 is equal to 23. We add 16 to both sides. We get 3x is equal to 39. We're going to divide both sides by 3. We got, sorry, I ran out of room. x is equal to 13. Okay, so now all we have to do is plug it back into the picture. So plug that back into the picture. So plug that back in. Okay, so 13, uh, so right here I'm doing 13 minus 6. That would be 7. Uh, this would still be the number 9. And then 2 times 13 minus 19, we get 7. And if you add all those together, we do get 23. So they can ask us, Basically, any question. So if I asked you for M to K, if I said MK, you would just add those two. You get 9 plus 7. That would be 16. I could have asked you for just N to M, and you would have said number 7. So there's a bunch of different things that they could have asked you. But we found all the measurements, 7, 9, 7, and 23, and X was 13. All right. Okay, let's keep going. So you're just getting a nice little review of stuff. Okay, so now with that idea, it's the same thing on this one. So, um, so I drew the picture twice. So this uh, this work would go with number two, and this work would go with number three. All right, they said ABD. So ABD is 48, and 
DBC. DBC is 78. So the question is, what would be the whole shebang then? Right? So they want ABC. So what we would do is uh, we know that those two add up. 48 plus 78. Add those two together. And uh, would equal your X. So this plus this equals a whole shebang. So what would be the whole shebang? That would be 126 equals X. And that's our answer, 126. All right. And then for number three, same idea. So DBC, DBC. So that's this, uh, the right side. That's 74. ABC, ABC. That's the whole shebang. So we're talking about the whole shebang on that one is 119. And they want ABD, A. B, D, that's X. So in this case, so um, the left plus the right equals the whole shebang, and that'd be X plus 74 equals 119. We would subtract 74 from both sides. You have X is equal to 45. So this little angle right there is 45. All right, boom. All right, so remember, this plus this equals a whole shebang. This plus this equals a whole shebang. You just have to set up the equation and solve. All right, number four. All right, so number four, this right here. So um, all this makes up a straight line. Now, we already know that this would be 90 degrees, right? We know this right here, over here, would also be 90 degrees. So what does, how much is in a straight line? 180 degrees. So these two added together make 180 degrees. So 5x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 180 degrees. That's just, that's just laws, things that you should just know. I'm kind of teaching you right now. So a plus b equals 180 degrees, straight lines right there. All right, so um, 5x and 2x make 7x. Positive 10 and negative 5 make a pl plus 5 equals 180. Subtract 5 from both sides. 7x equals 175. Divide by 7, and you get 25. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. Okay, so now all, every time you're done, you need to plug it back into the picture, right? So um, 5 times 25 plus 10, you get 135. Uh, 2 times 25, that's 50, minus 5, that's 45. And 135 plus uh, 45, that'd be 180 degrees. So that checks out. Everything works out. And what did they specifically want? They only wanted X, so 25 was the answer. So then why, why did we plug it in? We already had X a minute ago. Well, we do that for two reasons. One is uh, to check your answer, because if you checked it, it, checked it and you got like a negative number or these two didn't add up to 180, you would have caught yourself. That's one way. And the second reason that you plugged it back in um, was because they could have asked you for any one of these angles and you were just better prepared. Okay, number five. Um, so number five, let's just plug it back in. So F, C, D. F, C, D is X plus 41. B, C, F is X plus 78. And B, C, D. B, C, D. That's the whole shebang. All of this is 95. All right, so now that you have that, I want you guys to um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and write down the equation. So I want you guys to try and write down the equation right there. Go ahead and do that now. All right, so you guys should have written down the equation. Let's see if you guys got it right. So it would be this plus this equals a whole shebang. So that was X plus 78 plus X plus 41 is equal to the whole shebang, 95. Okay, so now that you have that, I want you guys to go ahead and um, uh, solve that. Go ahead and solve that, solve for x. 
Okay, you guys should have solved that. Let's see if you got it. 2x uh, plus 119 is equal to 95. We are going to subtract 119 from both sides. We get 2x is equal to negative 24. Divide 2 on both sides, and you got x equals negative 12. Okay, now that we have x is negative 12, that feels wrong because it's negative, but x can be negative. The numbers, the angle, the measurements cannot be negative. So I want you to take x and plug it back in and find these other numbers. So take x, plug it in, and find those other numbers. All right, let's see if you got them. So you took x, you plugged it back in, you should have gotten negative 12 plus uh, 78, that's 66. And negative 12 plus 41, that is 29. And if you add those two together, do you get 95? Yes, you do. So everything checks out. And what was the final answer? That was x, so the answer was negative 12. Awesome. All right, uh, let's go down to number six. All right, so in number six, we have angle FGH. I'm sorry, <laughs> FHGF, HGF, HGF. That's the whole shebang. That is 16X plus four. They said EGF, EGF. So this right here is 110. And they said that HGE is 3X plus 11. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and write down the equation. So pause and write down the equation. Do that now, please. All right, let's see what we got. So you guys should have done um, 3x plus 11 plus 110, or vice versa, is equal to the whole shebang 16x plus 4. Okay, now solve. So let's pause and solve. All right, let's see if you guys got the right answer. So when you solve this, you got 3x, and that's plus, um, so 110 plus 11, so 121 is equal to 16x plus 4. Okay, we are going to subtract 3x from both sides, get all the x's on one side. You get 1121 1, equals 13, some draw. Mm, I hate double numbers. Double. Okay, there we go. So 121 is equal to 13x plus 4. Okay, we are going to subtract 4 from both sides. We get 117 equals 13x. Divide by 13. You got x is equal to 9. Okay, so now, so x is equal to 9. All right, what you want to do now is plug it back in. So go ahead, pause, plug that back in. Plug x, uh, plug uh, 9 in for x. Go ahead, do that now. Awesome. Let's see. So this is already 110. 3 times 9 plus 11 is 38. And then 16 times 9 plus 4, we get 148. And if so, let's check 110 plus 38. Does that equal 148? Yes, everything checks out. What did they want? They wanted x, so our answer was 9. And last one. Okay. So, uh, KLM, that's the whole shebang. That's what we're going to be looking for. They said KLB, KLB is 26. And B, L, M is 60. So what is this? So if we're looking for it and X is not already being used, we can just call it X. All right. So let's pause. Uh, you guys go find X. Let's see what you get. All right. Let's see if you got it. So I know this, the bottom and the top add together to equal the whole shebang. So 26 plus 60 equals X. You get 86 is equal to X. And they wanted the whole shebang, so 86 is your answer. That's it. All right. Um, that is enough for one day. Um, 
and there's some more notes and more practice but we will do that on our next video so thank you so much for working really hard and you hope you guys have a wonderful day